I'm stumped. I have no words. I cannot explain this. And like the number two stump here is Ferrari. Where the hell have they come from? Peter. Wow. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that was one cliffhanger of a Singapore Grand Prix, wasn't it? Holy shit. But before we get into it, qualifying. Guys, I'm speechless. Normally, I can figure this stuff out, what's going on. But what the hell happened for Stappen in qualifying yesterday? Hmm? What the hell happened? Like, one minute, he's in... Like, oh guys, I'm just bear with me now. I'm going to get the screen up for you here. If you're watching on YouTube, you can, you can watch along with me here. But guys, if you look at qualifying yesterday, okay? Carlos Sainz, 130.984. George Russell, 131.056. So he's just under a tenth on pole from Carlos. Sainz. Charles Leclerc, 131.0. Lando Norris, 131.2. Hamilton is on, let's see, sorry, one second now, 131.4. Magnussen 131.5, Alonso 131.6, Akon 131.6, Hulkenberg 131.8, Lawson 132.2. So that's the top 10 guys. And like Verstappen gets beaten by Liam Lawson here. I mean, even in the first qualifying, qualifying one. Now guys, as you know me, right? Normally, I'm not going to be jumping up and down for joy if some my favorite driver gets on pole for qualifying one Because you still have got qualifying two and three to go So really it can give you an idea of course of what's about to come or who's gonna be the best out there But you can't guarantee it You know even if you're on pole position fastest guy in qualifying one you still got two more to go, baby. And all the bullshit stops, guys, for the last two minutes in qualifying three. It's as simple as that. And, I mean, it just goes to show, even for Stappen, he was right up there in the uh, in qualifying one. And qualifying two, he just, bang, gone. So it's very, very, uh, a lot of question marks here, guys. A lot of question marks here. The, I think what's going on here is you, you can read all the stuff, right? And grab blah, 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 blah. I genuinely think, because Red Bull aren't going to tell you exactly what's going on here. What I think is going on is the bumps in Singapore affect the balance of the car. Now, they've got a new under tray, uh, underfloor as well. Now, I don't think that's going to be a problem. Like, even next week in Japan, I think Verstappen will be right up there on probably on pole and probably win the race but uh i think it's just the bumps in that's their their kryptonite you could say their weakness here the bumps affect the car now i because i think again you know the way adrian newey has just i mean he's just he the man generates he produces that fucking car makes grip i mean it's unbelievable but it's all about the balance, and if the balance is good, great. But the balance is actually getting affected going over those bumps in Singapore. I really think it comes down to something as simple as that. Now, here's the thing. Why was he so quick so in qualifying one? One would have to wonder, right? <laughs> so that throws my theory completely out the window, if that's the case. It, 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 it's a mystery, guys. It's a fucking mystery what's going on. And I wouldn't believe anything that you list to read either. Even in, like, I know Formula1.com. I'm always recommending Formula1.com. It's a great website. Um, I just... But again, look, their reporters can only report what they hear from people, too. Um, but I just don't think we're going to find out exactly what happened to that car properly. You know, they're going to want to keep that under wraps. Definitely. Um... But yeah, listen, good result for Ferrari. Where the hell have they come from? I mean, th this is two incidences now, guys. I'm stumped. I have no words. I cannot explain this. And th like the number two stump here is Ferrari. Where the hell have they come from? 
great result for them, for all you Ferrari fans out there. Well done, it was a great, great poll by Carlos. But, <laughs> first they're nowhere, then they're up there, Monza, they're right there, now all of a sudden they're there again. I mean, next weekend they could be at fucking last position, you just never know. Now, obviously it's great to see it, guys, isn't it really? Um, you know, it's it, it makes things obviously a lot more more livelier, we could say, uh, especially with Verstappen kicking ass so much in the last couple of, well, for the whole year. So I think it's a good, definitely a good result. It mixes things up. And George Russell up Mercedes. So, you, you know, you can see that the cars that are performing under the radar, so, so to speak, isn't they're not performing very well, performed very well at Singapore. So... Maybe it's just, that's just the way it is, even though for the life of me, I, I, I just can't understand how Verstappen was so quick and all of a sudden he was he was nowhere. And and I wouldn't even mind that. Where did Perez, Perez qualified in fucking on the 13th? So, I mean, it, they're definitely struggling with something here, guys. There's no two ways about it. What, will we be able to find out? Hard to know. Now, I think going ahead tomorrow here, Carlos, Carlos Sainz with George Russell on off pole. These boys are going to be on the front row. I think tomorrow it's going to be very, very close. Uh, I think Carlos is definitely in a great position here, uh, being on pole. And it's there's always quite good racing around here. Now, I wouldn't say it's the easiest place to overtake. It's not impossible. But, um, you know, you definitely have to give, give somebody a bit of space here. You know, if somebody starts lunging up on the inside of you, the last thing you want to be doing is cutting in on top of them uh, because th this place will bite back at you hard um, so it'll be interesting to see now how Carlos gets on Verstappen can he make any moves can he even get into the points now look he's got such a huge lead anyway in the championship it's nice to see it kind of mixed up anyway isn't it now can he get into the points even score one point chances are you probably have to put your money on it um, Lawson Good to see him up in the in the top ten. Delighted to see him do that. Hulkenberg and the Haas Ferrari and Magnussen actually. So Haas Ferrari qualified sixth and ninth. Again, like I was saying, the cars that are normally not performing are performing here, which is you know, like I said, it's great to see, uh, and it's great to see Haas up there, especially Magnussen as well. Great, great old school driver, Magnussen. Uh, I wouldn't, I couldn't recommend the guy anymore. He's brilliant. Hamilton in fifth. Norris in fourth. Now, what happened, Oscar Piastri? He's down in 18th. Maybe he just had a, a technical issue, maybe. But uh, we'll have to investigate more on that. So, yeah, it'll be an interesting race, guys. So, um, hopefully, let's uh, let's see what happens tomorrow. Bye, guys. Peter. Wow. Wow. Wow.